Hi guys, I came up with a new video on how to install a CM7 or a Samsung Mode 7 on Samsung Galaxy Y. Uh, first of all, you have to root your phone. That is obvious. Uh, Super user app should be there, and just place the two files in the root of your SD card. First, the room file, and the second is the kernel. This is a kernel file. Change mode two. And the uh, second is a room file. So let's start flashing. First of all, boot into recovery mode. Uh, into the clockwork recovery mode. Like this. Okay, so let's put up in the recovery mode. First of all, we will flash the kernel. Select apply update from SD card. Choose the clockwork mode file. Go to mounts and storage and mount all the partitions. All four should show unmount like this. Go back and show zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card. Then choose zip from SD card. And then choose a kernel file. This cyanogen mode has two dot zip this one the above one select it and select yes now go back just wait for some time And yes, now select reboot system now. Just wait for some time. Let's wait. Just let, let, uh, wait for two minutes. Let's see if it's working or not. If it wouldn't work, just uh, remove your battery and then boot it into the recovery mode again.
I think it's not booting up, so we have to remove the battery. Okay, let's move to remove the battery once. Okay, now let's move in the recovery mode. Let's see what we have got. Okay, now we are in the recovery mode. Uh, so just go to monster storage. and uh, format system data and cache format system format the data and lastly format cache partition go back wipe data and cache Now I have the cache partition. Now again go to mounts and storage and mount all the partitions. Some guys were complaining that uh, uh, mounting system is error. See, I have mounted all the partitions. You see here, all the four partitions are unmounted. So just go back. Install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card, and then choose the ROM file. This one, the above one, CM7 2013 30728 unofficial. Just select it and select yes. Just wait for it to install completely, and uh, when it's when it gets installed, so we will wipe the data again and then reboot. Let's see if it's work or not. Mm. Well, the room is having some bugs, like uh, audio is not clear, uh, Bluetooth is partially working. Like you can send files, but you cannot receive files from other devices, and uh, camera works fine as some users reported so I don't have idea if it works or not ok so we have flashed the package just go back wipe data key ok so we have wipe data and then press reboot system now let's see if it's boot or not I wish it boots. <laughs> Just wait for some time to boot it up because it's a new custom ROM we have flashed, so it might take some time to boot. So just wait for some time. Okay, the room is now ready. The new Cyanogen Mode 7. Uh, this is the third nightly of uh, Percy G2 at XGA. Uh, so the room is booting up. Here is the boot logo, boot animation. Okay, the room is booted up. Just wait for some minutes.
Okay, the room is some booted up. Let's see what are the bugs. So let's see if it if camera works or not. Well it is showing can't connect to camera. Camera is showing the error. Okay. No problem, I'll make a fix for it, don't worry. Well, everything seems to work fine. And the auto rotation is not smooth. It will show green screen. So I'm just disabling it. But uh, everything works fine. Uh, So, also the CRD animation don't, don't, won't work. Like you can see, there is no CRD animation. So, there is a uh, CM7, a Percy G2. There is a kernel, Percy at CM2. You can see here, and here's the Android version. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please hit comment and subscribe, and follow the steps in the video carefully to avoid any conflicts. Thank you.